Welcome to Lavile Stadium in San Francisco. Ah, if it's fine by you, Ben, I'll probably just stand as they call this game. And what's the issue, partner? Uh, let's just say I got a little too much of the San Francisco nightlife last night. <laughs> I don't remember the majority of it. Thank God I was raised Catholic. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Los Scandalous Dams battle. The San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Grim Blitzrow with you along with my partner, former player Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. And his life partner, the mini mutant head that lives on the shoulder of Bricks Jr. Ugh. Hey, you just threw up on my shoulder. I don't often drink beer, but when I do, I get totally shit-faced. I am the world's most intoxicated man. Say that again. And it's first and ten. Oh, and the defense jumps outside. And in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yeah. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And it's first and ten. point the kick is good and as expected those are pretty much just guineas they're looking for a good return after giving up points let's see how they do yeah let's see if they always suck off that was just a one-time thing First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he put a little too much on that ball. This will be a touchback. And 
Lions, first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. the ball into the defense, picking up seven. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. She's the Mary Margaret of our ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Third down and five. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. hot. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Hot. Except maybe four on that play. Third down and six. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and... Oh, he just got crushed! And it's first and ten. First and ten. One speed, engage. What are you trying to call man about a six yard gain? Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. First and ten. Second down and a lot. You know, this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. It's like inviting an anteater to an ant convalescent home.
Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Berserker Drug. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Bam! Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? First and ten. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. First and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure bad. He runs into the end zone for a touchdown. And look how happy that little demon is after that score. Ooh, that means he won't drag any souls into the pit to hell for at least another three hours. Demons is so moody. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Running like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Third down and six. Functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's gonna have the IQ of a Rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. You gotta be kidding me! My sister could have made that kick! Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Oh, man, he really wants it. And it's first and ten.
And the Dean takes their second time out, hoping for a miracle. I witnessed a miracle once. A player was brought back from the dead. It's not a miracle, partner. That's just how the MFL works. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Flip returners in this league have a life expectancy of three returns. Let's see. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my love scene. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. 
His netting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a. Have you ever get hit in the head with a boat all, Grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. First and ten. Come on! And the quarterback unleashes a sonic blast against the defense. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the juggle. Now the QB has to try to run out of bounds before they get to him. Needless to say, ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here, taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swipe the money from the bathroom attendant. Hey, you don't do that. down in a mile. Offense says it's time to put the ramp out of his misery. First down and forever. That's a great nine-yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And the ball hits the field incomplete. He threw it when no one could catch it. Some things like that in the quarterback. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. They need to make him a target more often. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. game when it comes down to it and it's first and ten and the defense just looks clueless out here right now and 
It's first and ten. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback's going to be hurting or dead. Second down in a mile. And that pass is good for about five yards. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brett's mad stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Oh, big catch, big run, big touchdown. Eh, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. They only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount that quarterback tips on dinner. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot. Good throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot. Put on a display there. Touchdown. <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Second down and seven. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mouth. Caught for the first down. First and ten. Boom! Second down and two. When it's your time to go, it's your time. <laughs> the offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's pleading with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. Nice. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown.
are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. And he misses that extra point. Oh, well, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as you get there, stay at the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. And he's the quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. He can't get rid of it. It's like me and these crabs, Grim. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty. And the QB is in a heap of trouble now. Uh oh, and the ball carrier just got skewered. <laughs> and that's the end of his day. And it's first and ten. up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. I just may be in commentary, but I thought you were supposed to throw the ball forward. Uh, yeah, 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 you're right. You should. Second down and ten. Shots like that over your career? Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. Second down and four. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Defense goes right speed. Man, that defender just turned on his jets. Hey, Grim, have you ever noticed that when you're driving, everyone's going slow? And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. seven there either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller second and three the quarterback goes down zoom on his face i want to see if he's crying With one timeout remaining, the defense has to get something going here. Third down and long. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. The defense calls their last timeout. I don't know if they can pull off a win, Glenn. Why is that, Bricks? It's just a gut feeling. It also might be that porterhouse I ate for breakfast. How are you still alive? Drugs. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. done for a first down.
first and four. Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...